Hi, Scott. It's Robbie. I'm looking here at your water feature from the neighbor property to the south. And if you look down below, this is the wall to the south side of your water feature. And between the wall, there's a your, your wall is on the left here. And there's about a five foot void with river rocks or whatever down below. And then hibiscus growing in the void. So there's your area with your water feature above your pool and then the back side of that wall and then about a five foot void and then now I'm moving over to the wall that we have facing the property to the south. And what we're going to do is we're going to move the propane ta tank, tank onto this property well away from your property. Um, we've already moved uh, the condenser for the air conditioner and that's been put here now. It, the condenser used to be in that void over here. So this has been moved. We've moved the, um, the shutoff, which was where that mark is on the wall. This is the one that's on our property. And we've relocated the old one to here with this condenser. What we have remaining is a section of concrete slab that runs to your wall. And then a section of this wall that's perpendicular to your wall. And a propane pipe. The pipe is going to come out and the tank's going to be moved. And it will not be on your property in any way, shape, or form. So the pipe will be gone. Our next step is we'd like to leave this concrete slab as you see it. And we'd like to leave this section of wall that's perpendicular to your wall, which is chin high on me and I'm 6'3". And, and then do an encroachment agreement such that it could stay with the property. If I look over the wall, you'll see the void I was talking about and then the back of your wall that goes to your to your water feature. That's there with their lava rock on top and then the river stone in the void and then the wall that I've been showing you um, and I'm moving back over it. In order to do anything but an encroachment agreement, we would have to saw cut this wall straight vertically down and then we could leave it in place um, and we'd have to saw cut through the concrete slab and then leave it in place. And then technically that remaining wall and the slab would be yours. And because it would be separated by a saw cut, everything on this side would be this new property owners. So we're asking you if it's okay if we do an encroachment agreement simply and we would have a survey for the section of wall that you're looking at that attaches to your wall by whatever number of feet it is, it might be 20 inches or whatever, and the slab, and that would run with the land. And, you know, you've got, we can't imagine anybody's gonna push your wall back this way someday. Plus there's an open void space and then another wall to your pool area. Um, there's really no reason you would ever look or anybody in the future would ever look on this side of this wall because as somebody thought originally, um, this, the, the wall was the property line. So we're going to send you this video. You'll see it. And then we'd like to hear back from you right away because we'd like to go ahead. We're going to get this propane tank moved into the backyard of this property. Um, and, and so forth, as I've described. And if I were to look over to your property, you'll see that there's your water feature and the space I'm talking about is between this wall and your wall of your water feature. And there's probably a good four or five feet space there. I hope that's clear. We'll give you a call here in a little bit to, to explain it and discuss it. Thanks so much for your consideration.